Hi, I'm George, and we'll make this black and white photograph just a bit more interesting here by doing a color splash effect on the umbrella, just like that. And this is a fun project that requires just a couple of easy steps to do. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on subscribe, check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. The link for that is right down there in the description. And let's get to work on this project. I'm going to start off just by deleting these two layers up here and get back to the original image, which is right here. Now, if we look at this picture, we can see that her hat and jacket are both black. So obviously the umbrella is not black, it's something else. I'm just guessing it's red. So we'll make that red. Now we need to separate this out onto its own layer for this to work. Luckily, the values in here are different from anything around it. So we can use a quick tool for this. And that's right down here. It's the quick selection tool. I have my set at a brush size here of 25 pixels, which works out well for this image. See, there's the brush size right there and just brush into the image and let this find the edges for you. And that solves most of it. But right over here, it's a little bit right there that's coming down, a little tie for the umbrella that's hanging down there. We need to also grab that piece. So I'm going to zoom in on that. There we go, nice and tight. And for this is change our tool. Going over here to the polygonal lasso tool and I want to have this adding into our selection. There we go. Do the feathering out one, that's fine and then just make a little selection right around that piece that's hanging down there. And when you're using this tool, take your time, do a click, wait a beat, make another click. If you click too fast, it's going to collapse your selection. And you'll have to start all over again. So just take your time with this. It's a very accurate tool, but it takes just a little bit of patience. Okay, come up into the original selection and then back down to the starting point. And that adds that new piece into the selection. These other pieces should be left out because of course those are just little metal ribs pointing out. Okay, let's go back to fit screen. So we have our selection made and I want to have this on a new layer with a layer mask. Now the easy way to do that is just to go back to any selection tool, click on refine edge. Don't do anything with this. You don't need to just come down here. It says output to and changes to new layer with layer mask. And this saves you a lot of work right there. Okay. If I show the background again, there we are. Now we need to change the color on this new layer. And for that, we'll use a new adjustment layer. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. And we'll be using the hue saturation. Where it says use previous layer. Check that checkbox, choose OK. We now have this effect working just on that one layer. Now here's the trick for this. Click on colorize because there is no color in this original image. So colorize gives us some color on that image. You can then adjust your color with the hue right here. Any color you want, just pull that across like that. I'll go clear to the left, which is our bright red. Your saturation level controls how bright that is. I'll make it kind of in here someplace. That's obviously too bright, but that looks pretty good right in here somewhere. And then lightness, you can go lighter or darker on that. I'm going to leave that alone. Just put that back at zero. And that's all you have to do. As you can see, it's easy to do, especially if whatever it is you want to change color is easily separated out from the background. Close that down. And there we go. Let's now take a look at that. Here's our before and there's our after with this fast, easy and fun technique. Okay. If you like the video again, click on the like button, click subscribe and take a look at my complete training course. And once again, the link for that is right down there in the description and I'll see you next time.